Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to be taking a look at this deep red uh, YouTube video. Uh, it says it's a deep red, it claims to be 670 nanometers, and they play it for three minutes because that's uh, kind of what some of the studies showed to help with eye health. Um, they play, play this, this screen for three minutes. And we're going to compare it to our new Gemba Red Vector, which is made from specifically the 670 nanometer wavelength LEDs. We're going to see how these compare. Uh, we already did kind of a video debunking that RedMed uh, app and that, that obviously it didn't have the right intensity. Maybe, you know, maybe it gives you some 630 nanometer wavelength, but, you know, certainly not enough intensity. So we're kind of doing, doing another little repeat. Um, you know, we're going to check this out with my spectrometer. We're going to boot it up and... You know, one of the things we have to look out for is is the two things. We got to look for the right wavelength, and we got to look for is it enough intensity? Because even those studies, they use a decent amount of intensity. You don't want too much, especially for your eyes, but you don't you do want enough to elicit that that beneficial response. And you know, you need to learn something about how screens work that you're very rarely going to get 670 nanometer. You don't really get that deep red. That's what a lot of people say that is bad about these screens is that they've got too much blue light and not enough kind of the deep red and, and things like that to kind of balance it out. It's got too much blue. Um, so, you know, you know, we're going to take a look at this white part of the screen and I've got my computer set up to be as bright as possible. And you can see it's got a very strong blue peak, it's got a kind of a green peak, and it's got this red peak. And so all the colors you think you see on your screen is actually like an optical illusion. That it's just represented by three kind of peaks of red, green, and blue. And all those mixtures can give you this illusion that you could be watching re very fancy videos or, or video games, or it doesn't matter. It's all an optical illusion. And, you know, and that red is really not going to be that deep red like, like you really need it to be. Um, so let's, let's click on this video. Let's take, take a look. Um, if, you know, if, if I fill up my whole screen with this red, red YouTube video, and I'm just going to, again, I'm going to use this as close as possible just to give you that representation of what's going on. So you can see we get this big peak. It's kind of a reddish peak. If I try to line up my diagnostic here, we can get it maybe 590-ish, maybe low 600s. But, you know, that's actually closer to being more of an orangish or, or even yellowish. And, you know, you're not even close to the deeper reds. If I move my slider down here to 6... 670-ish, let's just put it 672, you see, you know, you get a very small part of the spectrum is 670. So you're not really getting, you know, what you think you're getting as, as they claim this is some sort of deep red. And you get a big peak of blue that, that shines through. Maybe my screen, because it's got a stronger backlight, it's a powerful kind of gaming computer. Um, so you can see you know, you even get blue light. So you should probably wear a blue blocker if you even want to do this. So uh, you're getting blue light, which a lot of people say the blue light is, is bad for you. But that comes through even on what we appear to think is a perfectly red screen. So, you know, imagine that that kind of atrocity. Um, so that's, you know, that's a, also a problem. The third thing is, you know, so we got the wrong wavelength. We got some blue coming through. Third thing is the intensity. So this is in units of microwatts per centimeter squared. So that's a very low unit. Usually we want milliwatts per centimeter squared. And so that's a factor of like a thousand difference. So we want to be even on the scale of milliwatts, not microwatts. So the, we're only 19 microwatts. So that's not even enough. And like I said, I hold this right on my screen. So obviously if I'm a little bit further away, you get even less. I'm probably going to get more reflection from sunlight than anything else. So yeah, I get some reflection from the sunlight and it gives me a little bit more, but you still get that blue peak. You still get the same peaks and very low uh, 670. So you, you're not getting even any amount of intensity that would even be considered therapeutic. 
Um, and that's the point of designing these screens. Some people will say, oh, well, you use some crappy computer. You could use it on a new iPhone or iPad or whatever, new, new monitor. No one's going to design a monitor that gives you high enough brightness because that would be really uncomfortable for your eyes. You know, you, you're not going to stare at a screen that's super bright. So they made this purposely to not be too bright, and it's got these false wavelengths. Don't let people, you know, we're going to have new people every day that says, well, this time I've, I really calibrated my my YouTube video. You know, it's it's not possible. It's limited by the technology on your end, not whatever someone can post as a color. Um, so let's take a look at the Vector 670. Like I said, this should give us what more of what we're supposed to be looking for. So it's got a timer uh, that counts down from 10 minutes and it's got these nice deep red bulbs. You can see this brightness, you can see it reflecting off me in ways that, you know, you can just observe that the screen isn't really doing. Um, anyway, so we can measure it and I can be a few inches away now. So even at a few inches away, we've got this nice crisp peak. It's at, the peak says 671, you know, closer maybe 672, so that's really nice. Got this nice crisp peak at 672, so that's really ideal. And we've got more intensity. Now the scale is still at, in this, this microwatt, but we can see we're at 6,000 microwatts, which is 6 milliwatts, right? So 6.4 uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared. So that's the really ideal intensity. The studies that they're using, the studies that, you know, this person was kind of referring to was using about seven milliwatts per centimeter squared. So we want to be really close. I've got third party data on my vector, uh, not just for, from this tool, but that says if you're about six inches away, you get that therapeutic intensity. So it's not just a wavelength, which, which obviously we nail, but you get the right intensity and, and obviously you don't get any blue light if if that's kind of creeping through your screens um so you know there's a lot to think about you know that that we try to do things the right way and you can do it you know about six inches away so you you don't have to smush your your eyes up against it and uh you know we use these nice diffusing lenses so see, you see there's not a lot of glare like a lot of times if we, i do a video the glare kind of blasts out the, the screen um, but this is really nice. It's really gentle on your eyes. You can tell it's not causing a lot of glare. Um, so, you know, it's a really nice product. But, you know, I try to caution people like, you know, you're going to get more and more things like this. Oh, you can kind of hack it with the screen. And, you know, some of these comments people say, oh, you know, you know, this isn't the right wavelength, right? And, you know, this person didn't have to measure it with an expensive spectrometer you know, this person just understands how tablets and computer monitors work. Um, that, you know, so, you know, as much as we want this to work, it's, it's not really ideal. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the unfortunate thing. You gotta, gotta get the right wavelengths, the right intensity. You can't find a shortcut just through a screen and hopefully that debunks it. We've got almost, you know, 24.5, uh, you know, 24,000 people that watch this. Uh, so maybe it is pretty popular, um, but, you know, <laughs> we got to get more people to understand y you want something like this. I see a lot of people use these red screens. Maybe if you just want to use your computer as like an ambient light source for like kind of mood lighting. But actually, you still get some blue creeping through on depending on the, your type of monitor. Um, so it's not a great option. Um, there are some DIY things on YouTube, so you can certainly do that if you get the right wavelengths and you solder them together and you do do that kind of work. You could could kind of jerry rig your own thing, um, but you know that takes a lot of work. You got to invest in the tools and the soldering tools and uh, learn how to do all that, um, you know, or get something kind of pre built. Um, so hopefully that helps. You know, show you. You know, you got to get. <laughs> the right wavelengths, which this barely emits any deep red, no matter what color you think you're looking at, it's all an optical illusion. You're not getting very even close to the right intensity uh, for any kind of therapeutic action. And, you, you know, you might get some blue light creeping through and that kind of defeats a lot of the purpose. Um, so, you know, go for something that, that really 
does their diligence, gets the right measurements, gets the right LEDs, and and that's where we want to go. And again, it's all just kind of supporting our eye health. It's not really kind of you know, reverse, you know, tons, tons of issues. We're just trying to support our eye health because we know we're accosting them every day with our screens. Um, so hopefully that helps. You know, another tip is, is to get early morning sun, uh, sunrise and sunset where you can tell the skyline is, is more of that deeper red. It, you know, it turns that reddish because of the angle of the sun. And that's, that's another good hack. You get some decent amount of intensity don't stare at the sun but you know just be outside and enjoy enjoy your time um so hopefully that helps let us know if you have any other questions thanks